What's up, everybody? You're watching B-Boy 45 here in the Seacrest Studio, Children's Hospital, Colorado. And it is yet again another fantastic special edition of Maya's latest news to keep you in the groove. Miss Maya, please tell us, why is today's edition of Maya's latest news to keep you in the groove very special? Because Blake Stadnick is calling. Because Blake Stadnick is calling. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Um, so, who or what inspired you to become an actor? Um, so, I started performing um, because I lost my eyesight. Uh, I, I was around six years old um, when I was diagnosed uh, with um, Stargardt's disease. Um, and where I grew up, it was very common for everyone to play sports, and I couldn't do that anymore. Um, so my mom, well, and for me to get some exercise, and I was an only child at the time, um, so, so I needed, she wanted me to have um, a social group outside of just school. She put me in a tap class, and I started tap dancing, and I fell in love with it. Um, and then I started doing um, some musicals at the community theater near my hometown outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, and then I ended up going my junior and senior year of high school. I went to a performing arts high school and then I went to Penn state university for musical theater. <clears throat> and I was doing, I was doing theater around the country primarily until, uh, I got a call from my manager that said that they were looking for a visually impaired actor who could sing to be on This Is Us. And I sent in a videotape and, um, and they cast me off of the tape. And uh, it's, it's been a whirlwind experience so far. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. So I love your song, Memorized. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so um, what got you interested in singing? Um, I've always liked music, but... <laughs> I started taking voice lessons because uh, when I was in elementary school, um, this is after I had started dancing, the movie Titanic came out. And I was obsessed with the song My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. <laughs> and I used to <laughs> sing it. I used to sing it in in the shower, uh, in my room, all over the place. And my mom was finally like, we need to get this boy some voice lessons. <laughs> so <laughs> she, I started taking some voice lessons. Um, but yeah, music, I've always thought of song as being a really wonderful way to tell a story. Uh, yeah. So it, it, was, it was really cool that my first TV experience, I got to sing uh, with it as well. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, Are you going to release a cover of your own someday of that song? My Heart Will Go On? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 well, what's funny is just re like yesterday, I was uh, at the gym and I heard a heavy metal version of My Heart Go On that I'm really into right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Pretty different from the original. Yeah. But that's, that's, my gym, that's my gym jam right now. Gym jam. I like yeah. it. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. Gym j I can't. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, uh, do you plan on coming out with any more music soon? Well, uh, I don't know if there are any plans for the character to sing on the show. Um, again, I, 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 it could be, I, I just don't know. Uh, but, you know, that's always a possibility in the future. Um, you know, that's something my manager and my agents have, and I have talked about. Um, but I can't say right now it, you know, def definitively whether that's going to happen or not, but I can tell you I'd like to. Okay. Right on. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, so you've done a lot of theater. Um, what's <laughs> the difference between stage acting and acting on TV? Mm -hmm. Well, for one thing, probably the main difference is acting on stage is everything has to be kind of larger than life, um, especially depending on the th types of theaters that you're performing at. Um, 
when I was on tour with 42nd Street, there were some theaters where there were 4,000 seats in the house. So everything had to be big enough so the people in the very back row, they can't really see your face, but they can they, they need to be still be able to know what's going on. So your gestures and and everything just needs to be more broad. Where as on camera, um, everything's much more intimate and small. And it even goes into even past realism in a way sometimes because the camera, um, when it's so close to your face in some shots, it just captures it. The, the smallest movement of an eyebrow can be, when it's blown up on a, a big screen TV, looks huge. So <laughs> um, the scene in the first episode where uh, me and Auden, who plays Lucy, where we're in the diner when we first meet, it looks like we're just, and sounds like we're just talking normally, but we were almost whispering at each other. We were, we were being so small. It was just, it was very, very quiet. Um, so that's probably the biggest difference. Hmm. I did not know any of that. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and what's, really, what's, what's really freaky, which I didn't know uh, happens, is all of the background noise that you hear in a scene like that, where, you know, it's like the, the clinking of glasses or like s- small, you know, hushed conversations. None of that's actually happening when we're filming the scene. All of the background uh, actors are completely silent. Um, and that sound is laid in afterwards by, by the editors. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, re- it's really weird to see all of these people around you looking like they're you know doing normal everyday things and yet they're being completely quiet (laughs) so they're pretending to talk right right yeah Yeah. you gotta have whole conversations silently yep (laughs) oh man that's some talent right there yeah 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 um so what would be your dream show to guest star on That is a tough question because there's so many good ones. Um, what's kind of funny is that This Is Us was is sort of already one of my dream shows to guest star in. So like that's uh, that's already a dream come true. Um, but well, it's not a, it's all done. But I would have loved to have been on Game of Thrones. <laughs> 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 I'm a huge nerd. Uh, are, all right, I got one for you. Picard just premiered on CBS All Access. I love Star Trek. I love Sir Patrick Stewart. I wouldn't even care if I was one of the red shirts who who said one line in the episode. As long as I got to be in a scene with Patrick Stewart, that would be a dream. That would be sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, just to keep it the Titanic theme, I wouldn't mind working with either Leonardo DiCaprio or Kate Winslet. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say the old lady who played the old lady. <laughs> oh. It would have been yeah. cool to work with the whole cast, right? Yeah. 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 And, no, um, no. and of course, you know, Meryl Streep. Like, who doesn't want to work with Meryl Streep? Yeah. 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 Um, my sister and I, we have, like, Oscar parties. Um, every year, and we watched Titanic, I think, last year or two years uh-huh. ago. <laughs> no, I can't watch it ever again. <laughs> it, it's really sad. I it cry is. every time, and I've probably seen the movie close to 30 times. Wow. Yeah, it I also had, actually was, gave me nightmares. Oh, no. So. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Yeah. It is. So. Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, I was I was going to say I um when when the movie came when I had the movie at home I had it on VHS which you know we don't have anymore and it came on a two a two tape VHS and I actually wore them out uh, and had to get new ones I watched that movie so much. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Um, can you tell us about any of your upcoming projects? Um, well, you know, keep, 
keep watching This Is Us. Uh, I can't say if I'll be on it again or not, but just, you know, stay tuned. Even if I'm not on it, it's a really good show. Yeah. Uh, and there are definitely some um, theater things in the works that I can't give details on yet. Um, but if anyone follows, I, I pretty much only use Instagram, but if anyone follows me on Instagram, I'll, you know, when I can say something, I'll definitely announce it there. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, so what is your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> My biggest in, in life or in act in like general or, or just in acting? Uh, either one. Well, I was in a, an Uber the other day <laughs> and the driver kept going like this. <laughs> and it was like nails on a chalkboard to me. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't say anything because I'm, I'm not the person to say anything, but I just had my hand on my girlfriend's leg and I was just, every time he did it, I like squeezed her leg. <laughs> and she, <laughs> and, and she, she's, by the end of the ride, she was like, you were about to give me a bruise. And I'm like, I'm sorry, honey. It was just really, really bad. <laughs> um, so... Probably that is my biggest pet peeve. Pet peeve: any kind of weird, repetitive mouth noises. <laughs> yeah, um, that's yeah, a, that's I think a good that one. would. Yeah, I think that would bug me too. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. It was just. I, I was. I was so perplexed as to, I was like, "Do you have something in your teeth? Do you need a toothpick? Can I get you a toothpick, sir? I I will do anything to get you to stop doing that." Yeah. <laughs> Stop by a Target, get him a toothbrush, even. Right. <laughs> and I wonder. I... Oh, Blake, if you can still hear us, you've you My froze. My hearing is more sensitive, so I'm wondering. It, it's usually sound things that are like a, a pet peeve of mine. Oh, so yeah. I, I wonder if it's because I have sensitive hearing that it, that's sort of what happens. It's got to be it. Yeah. Yeah. But I think yeah. even people without sensitive hearing, the mouth noises thing is pretty universal. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, that really yeah. bugs me, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what personality there's, trait? There's a train going by, so let me know if you oh. can't hear me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we could hear the train, but um, we could also hear you. I think yeah. we're okay. All right, good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm just glad to know what that sound was because I had no idea what I was hearing. So yeah, that was the train, <laughs> train whistle. <laughs> um, so, what personality trait has gotten you in the most trouble? In the most trouble? Yeah. Um, it's something that I'm working on, uh, especially in my relationship. Um, and even my relationship with my family, not just m my, my significant other, I, when I, when I know something and I know I'm right about something, I have to let the other person know that I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and I'm learning to just like, I, was, I you know, it's not necessary that I, I know that this happened in s season four of this this series, not season two. But I'll just I'll just be quiet about it. <laughs> yeah, learning to pick the battles, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so, if you could meet any fictional character, who would it be, and why? Oh, it's gotta be Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Star Wars. Um, I, I like. I said I'm a big, big nerd. Um, yeah. So, I I grew up loving Star Wars. My um, I have two step brothers, and uh, we met when we were ten years old. And Star Wars was also something that we like first bonded over. We all, all three of us, love Star Wars, and we watch the movies and play the video games and. Um, I always, I always like the the Jedi. You know, I I'm always the lights. Play, like when I play the video games, I always play the light side. Um, nice. 
on on the back of my phone right now is actually the symbol of the Jedi Order on my phone case. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh yeah, so, yeah. Is, and L- I've always loved Luke. I, I've I, it, he's always been the the character that I most um, relate to because even when he in the last uh, in the last movie of the original trilogy when he's saying to Darth Vader, you know, I can still find good in you. I, I always appreciated that he was always looking for the good in even people of the dark side, you know? Mm. And, and plus he's just cool with a lightsaber. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would it be? Oh, that's a good one. Um... Probably. Anything by Journey. I really like. Uh, ooh, or or I'm I once again at the gym right now. I'm listening to um, a lot of ACDC. So nice. some like really like guitar drum heavy like rock song. Just like walking out like a total. Um, the rock star. Rock star. Thank you. That's the word I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So like playing Jack on This Is Us like was kind of a, a, a dream I didn't know I had of being a rock star. Like walking out on the stage of the Greek with 7,000 people just screaming at me. <laughs> biggest adrenaline rush I have ever had in my life. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um... So I think I heard the answer is Thunder by ACDC. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> yep. It's got to be it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chris. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> um, so, when you're having a bad day, what do you do to make yourself feel better? Uh, I I I actually I either sing, like, I actually like to sing. Um, sad music when I'm feeling bad, you know, and it, uh, it it's singing, expressing the sadness through a sad song actually helps me kind of get rid of it. Or there's a black lab sitting right over in the corner over there, and <laughs> I go snuggle her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dogs. Dogs are good therapy. Dogs are great. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a motto or quotation that you live by? Um, I, yeah, the, a couple that I think sort of all fall in a similar vein. Um, my stepmom has always said, kill them with kindness whenever someone's being mean. Um... Because I got, I got bullied a lot when I was in school when I was younger because of my eyesight, and um, we tried. They, I, I really tried to, to rise above it, and the, and be try to be even kind to the people that were being mean, um, and then. There's also this really great quote from Mr. Rogers, who I watched all the time growing up. And um, he's from Pittsburgh, so there's also, and I'm from Pittsburgh, so that's also something that I really like about him. <laughs> um, and he always said that there's not, a, I might be messing this the exact words up, but um, he said, uh, there's not a single person in this world that once you've heard their story, you can't love. Um, so I, I think trying to, trying to improve someone's life in any small way every day is a really great goal that I can have and that anyone can have. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. So, what terrible movie do you secretly love? 
<laughs> um, okay. All right. Um, well, easy one would definitely be the Star Wars prequels. They're not great films, but I still love them. <laughs> um, trying to think here. Um, there's this really, really bad, like, all time, one of the worst movies of all time list thing called Troll 2. <laughs> I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, no, not Trolls. Not the Trolls movie, Troll. Yeah. Troll 2. Okay. But there was never a Troll 1. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it is really, really awful. I, my, my friends and I discovered this when I was in college. And it's so bad. Like they're taking it, the they're taking it so unbelievably seriously. But it's so bad that it's funny, and it's <laughs> they don't want they don't mean for it to be funny with the right whoever wrote it and, and is acting in it. But it's become like a cult phenomena that it's so bad that it's funny, and that's probably my second choice. Nice, cool, yeah. <laughs> um, well, one of my favorite movies is also, like, listed as one of the worst movies. Oh, so, yeah, what is it? Yeah. Um, so it's called Ishtar. Um, oh, I haven't heard of that. And so my mom showed it to my sister, and uh, uh, me and my sister, um, a mm-hmm. couple of years ago. And mm-hmm. we've watched it, like, a hundred times since. Um, but... The first time we saw it, like, we were all just on the floor, like, crying from laughter. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, That's so, great. Yeah. It, it was really fun. <laughs> Good. Um, so, um, what show are you currently binge watching? Um... See, oh, oh, I'm rewatching The West Wing for like the f- fourth time, I think. Nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, 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 well, recently I'm not, re- I haven't been very much into politics, but I used to be a huge political junkie too. Um, I was actually kind of deciding whether to go uh, to school for acting or for political science. Hmm. Um, and, I started, I, I, I can't remember when I started watching The West Wing again recently, um, but it gives such an optimistic view of America um, that I think I was, because things are pretty um, divided right now, I think I needed to, to see that and to, and to still believe in that. Hmm. That's a good reason to binge watch a show for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, there's some unbelievably good actors on the West Wing. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the writing, well, I mean, come on. Yeah, Aaron Sorkin's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, Two more questions. Okay. Thanks. Um, so, who's your favorite band or singer? Mmm. <sighs> I think my favorite singer right now is um, Michael Bublé. Oh, I like well, him. Yeah, he's yeah. great. Yeah. And he's also a really nice guy. Um, yeah. He, uh, yeah, I, I, I like his style. I like, he's a real musician. Um, I, I, he's, he's just like a class act and, and a really great musician. So I think it's probably Michael Bublé. Oh, cool. Um, so my last question for you is who do you consider to be a real life superhero and why? My own real life superhero is my mom. Hmm. And I think moms in general can more often than not are real life superheroes. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I know 
she was my complete my complete support system in my rock when I was growing up when I lost my eyesight and when I was being bullied for it she was always there to help me think through things and help and lift me up um, and then she was also the one who recognized that I should maybe be in a tap class or be taking voice lessons so I don't know if I would have discovered this incredible world of theater and acting had my mom not been willing to um, nurture that aspect of me. Uh, so definitely my mom. That's good. That yeah. is good. Yeah. Right um, on. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for calling in. I had so much Ooh. fun talking to you. Uh, thank you, Maya. It was my pleasure. Blake. Yeah. Wish you continued good luck, and I uh, hope we get to yeah. talk to you again, man. Absolutely, anytime. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.